If you're live streaming on YouTube or anywhere else, I've got some game changing tips for you and we're starting right now. As you may or may not know, when it comes to live streaming, there is a lot of stuff that you have to manage. You have to keep the words coming out of your mouth so you're not just sitting there in total silence. You gotta deal with the tech, which is an ongoing thing. Even if you're an experienced live streamer, there's technology problems that you're gonna run into from time to time. But today I'm gonna share with you some tips to help make your live streams better. Number one is to make your scene, what it is that people see as impressive as you possibly can. And I know not everybody has the technological know-how, so to speak, to make everything look and sound as good as possible. So what I did is I actually partnered up with Live U and we created a free course. It's actually a crash course on live streaming that will help you learn the ins and outs of live streaming, how to make your streams look better, what equipment to use, how to get it all to work together, how to build an audience and all that, and a bunch of other live streaming tips, but I've got a link to that down in the description. I recommend that you head over there and sign up to that right now. Number two, start your live stream like a video. Here's the thing. When you hit that go live button, people are going to start getting notified that you're live, but you're already live. So you might have a couple of seconds to kill, and a great way to handle that is to set it up like it's a video for the replay. That's right, you gotta go live thinking about the replay value, thinking about, okay, well, once I'm not live anymore and then people are coming in and they're watching this, what's the experience gonna be like for them? Those people that are coming in on the replay, those are the people that are gonna see all that stuff at the beginning. So because of them and to make it make sense to them, let them know right out of the gate, hey, this is what we're talking about here. This is exactly what's gonna be happening in this live stream so that when they're watching it on the replay, it makes more sense to them. A little side bonus to this is it also adds adds some value to the people that are coming in quickly because the last thing that you want when your live stream starts is to be sitting there waiting for people to come in. But if you start it and you're like, hey, I'm coming in on this like it's a video, then all of the people that are coming in on the notifications, the show's starting. Like they're coming in as the show is getting going. And of course, there are some other things that you can do to buy yourself some additional time. So as those notifications are going out and people are coming in, you know, just some things that you can do to fill that space as well, which we talk about in the mini course. But the idea here is to basically start it all out with the replay in mind so that those replays play viewers are getting the most out of your live stream and the people that are coming in on the notifications are also getting the stream as it's going down instead of having to wait for it. Number three, it's important to start with what you have. A lot of people think, hey, I need to make sure that I get like DSLRs and I plug into my computer and all this other stuff to really make my stream look awesome. But at the end of the day, if you have a webcam, it's all you need to get started. Now, what you can do is you can be a little bit more creative in terms of how you're lighting your scene and stuff like that to kind of take advantage of those lower quality optics that you might have. But really these days, webcams are looking pretty solid. And the reason that you wanna get started now is because it takes time to build an audience. So if you get started now with what it is that you have, then you can build your equipment, make everything better and better and better as you go along. Number four, have a plan in place. This is another one of the things that we cover in that course, but having a plan in place basically lets you know, hey, if I'm streaming and I'm talking about this particular thing, this is what we're talking about. So even if I go off on a tangent because you just have all of that free thought coming through, even if you go off on a tangent, you're still covered because you can always come back to the things that you wanna talk about. You can do this in video format as well in terms of, hey, I'm just gonna write down a short list of things that I want to talk about and then and I just need to make sure whatever words come out of my mouth, I need to make sure that I cover these particular things. And the cool thing about having that plan is it doesn't matter what tangent you go off on, you always have that base list of things that you know you're talking about so you can keep pulling it back in, reel yourself back in so that you can always stay on point with the topic that you promised your viewers. And having that plan and having that list of topics is awesome because not only does it keep you on track, but let's say you blank out well, it keeps you from blanking out because you always know, hey, these are the things that I'm talking about. So even if I run out of words on one topic, I can just say, okay, the next thing that we're talking about is X, Y, Z. So that way it looks like you know what you're doing. Number five is be yourself because the people that are coming to watch your stream, the people that you're building as your audience, those people, they're there because of you. Of course, they wanna know the information that you're sharing, but there's a gazillion people on the internet sharing a gazillion different things about a gazillion different topics. So because of that, the people that are watching you, they're connecting with you in some level. So make sure that you be yourself. Give them all you got, don't hold back. Be yourself, come out of your shell, just do your thing, have fun. Because when you're having fun in your live streams, people can feel it and people will wanna stick around for that as well. I mean, who doesn't like having fun, right? Again, if you haven't already, make sure that you click the link in the description and head over and check out the free course that we put together, the crash course on live streaming from me and the kind folks over at Live U. And if you want to learn more about growing your channel, making videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.